So now there was some wrestling this past week on television. Can I go through Raw real quickly? You ain't going to believe how quickly. I wish I could have gotten through it as quickly, yes. Well, if you saw anything I didn't, feel free to speak up. But Raw, remember in the 90s, Raw is war because somebody noticed in creative services that Raw spelled backwards is war. And so they went to Bridgeport, Connecticut and got a bunch of wild dogs. Actually, they didn't need to get a bunch. They already had them in Bridgeport and they shot all that war footage on the streets of Bridgeport and made it raw as war. And that was exciting and did big ratings. Now they've got raw as monologues. And as we all know, monologues spelled backwards is sugolamnanam. It doesn't have the same ring to it. So on Raw as monologues this past week, we got a Kevin Owens promo to start the show, then a Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins promo where they began, even though they've been partners and friends over the past several weeks, and we're not sure whether they're baby faces or heels because they act like heels, but they fight other heels, and they were bickering because they... They didn't win the tag team titles, so they were going to have a match at WrestleMania, so now Owens has challenged Steve Austin to be on the KO show because KO hates Texas, and Austin ain't happy about that. But now Rollins is upset because he doesn't have a match at WrestleMania because Cody apparently is still coming, but they can't announce it yet, and that's the rumor is what they're holding Rollins back for. So now Rollins and Owens have an argument and decide to have a match against each other with the winner to interview Steve Austin at WrestleMania. Well, they didn't decide to. The whole thing was Kevin Owens was against the idea. Seth Rollins, and whatever this ridiculous character is, wanted to do this idea, and then Sonya Deville just decided to do it. Well, the point is they've got two of the biggest stars on their television program. That they, It's one that they just signed for... Well, now that we're hearing, it's a, it's a little under $2 million rather than almost $3 million. But what's a million among Canadians with Owens? And they, they're a team for a few weeks, and then they have a match against each other to see who wins to get to host a talk show with an actual real star on the pay-per-view. And so Owens won the it's match, obviously. It's exactly the kind of thing adults would argue about. Exactly. <laughs> and Owens won the match so that he can interview Austin so that Austin can give him the stunner or whatever the fuck's going to happen. And now, if they are indeed saving Rollins back for the debut of Cody Rhodes, then Cody is going to go into WrestleMania to face a fucking loser that just got beat by his tag team partner on free television. Seth freaking Rollins is one of the worst gimmicks. I don't even know what kind of gimmick it is. I can't describe it other than it makes me not want to watch. What is it? What is the, Does he enjoy they, a party that isn't there? Is he trying to be like the adult sized Gargano in NXT? What is his character exactly? I do, they've changed him and his world outlook and the way he dresses and the way he talks and his nickname and everything else like five or six times over the last few years and every time they do it there's like a week or two in there where he kind of looks like and acts like a normal person and you kind of start well he's not too bad and then he goes so far over the top with whatever the fuck they've got him doing now that you're back in the same place it's like what the fuck is going on here and combined with the fact that this program now is just three hours of people just going out and not even cutting promos, that might be interesting, but just going out and reciting scripts. And uh, so... And, Owens is good at it. I'll give him credit. He's, he's actually really good at it because it doesn't always feel... It, well, you can always tell it's scripted, but he makes it feel like its own at least a little bit. You can believe that Kevin Owens is saying shit that's insipid and uninteresting and that you wouldn't really <laughs> want to hear. You can believe it from him. Do you think there's so, any, any way Steve Austin walks to the ring at WrestleMania or is he driving that truck all the way down to the ring? I wish, I wish he'd drive the truck all the way down to the ring and run the ring over and knock it over and disrupt the talk show and just stunner everybody and the people say, well, <laughs> 
We can't top that, folks. Good night from WrestleMania. The, the multiple dead bodies may be a hard <laughs> issue yeah, to get right? past. Yeah, just also, leave chaos, right? <laughs> chaos in the in the project pit. The project pit. <laughs> So that was raw. That's what I got out of three hours was that. 